Hi everyone, Juicy here from Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here on my channel. Today I am going to be tackling this spare room that we have. It used to be my craft room and now it has become like a catch-all room. And most recently my daughter's placed this extra desk here so that she could study for her MCAT since her bedroom gets too hot in the summer. We also placed this desk bike here so that in between sessions she or I can work out. I need to address this also to help out a friend. As a supplement to the video, my recent video on a DIY wall organizer, a friend of ours who's off to college right now, who's living in the dorm, has asked for help. She has a dilemma on how to place her bed and her desk and how to design it. So, which is perfect because sometimes I just need a project to inspire me so that I can also tackle our mess. <laughs> I'm going to be cleaning it up first and then I am going to stage it like a dorm room. So what's good about what I'm doing right now, this is something that probably can inspire you to make a spare bedroom or a small bedroom like this one. This is just a 10 by 10 bedroom by the way, this is how small it is. But you can also set it up as such either for your daughter or your son or for a guest. I cleared and removed all the items from the floor and vacuumed it thoroughly. Okay, for the bed, I'm gonna be using this E-Tech City raised air bed. It's supposed to be taller, higher than your uh, standard air bed. So this is a twin it has an auto inflate panel control and again this is by eTech City EAM DT1 product model and it says here 100% leakage test. Sleep comfort of 1 through 10. The index is 10. So let's open this one. Let's see how it is. I suggest for students who are going to rent. And there's no bed. I would suggest this kind of product because you wouldn't have to worry about moving the bed. Because the bed is actually the biggest furnishing. Some of the for rent apartments that are furnished in a lot of the university cities or towns, they're pretty expensive. It's cheaper if you go to an, apart an apartment that's not furnished so if you need a bed I think this is a good choice okay so what I've done is I've uh, stretched it a bit there is a built-in pump which is what I like we have two air beds actually and they don't have a built-in pump I think it's better if you have a built-in air pump because you don't have to worry about trying to find where the air pump is and so many times we cannot find the air pumps. The cord is stored in here in this kind of like a containment unit here for the cord and if you're using it you put the cord here in this section where there's a hole to fit the cord so that you don't have to worry about anything sticking out unnecessarily like the cover breaking. Okay, and then this one has, this is the off switch, so you can see this is the, where you're going to control it. There's the inflate. Uh, to inflate it, you go to clockwise and to deflate counterclockwise, okay? Two minutes. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's firm already. Two minutes. Okay, let's test it for firmness. See if it's gonna hold. Wow. It's firm. I like it a lot. I'm using a bed cover that will fit a double bed or a queen bed so that it can cover all the way down and I can tuck it in. If you're interested in this air mattress, click on the link in the description box below. 
Okay, I have another dorm room essential that I am going to be building. This I got at Target and uh, during the Labor Day weekend, this was on sale for $20, $19.99, okay? And this is the three cube organizer. This is how it should look like when you build it. I'm thinking perhaps this can be her nightstand. Now what I like about how I set up this room is, look, so this is how I put the bed. This is now, this is the wall that you've seen earlier. And originally I positioned the bed horizontally there. But then she mentioned that uh, she has, you know, I'm kind of cons in consultation with her on the phone, that she has a closet for clothes. I doubt if her shelves are this wide. I think she only has the small one like that for her clothes. And then she doesn't mind having the bed there because what she has at the bottom would be some of her seasonal items like sweaters and boots, okay? So now let me just build this one. Assembling this cube is quick and easy. Took me only less than 15 minutes. It already came with the hardware. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver and a hammer. And like I said, it's very easy to do. What I've done here, and this could be a tip for you, instead of bending on the floor, since this is a small cube, what I've done is I put it on top of the table, and then I work it from there. Saves your back from bending, and also easier because it's at eye level. So here's the finished cube organizer. I love this one. It's very sturdy. It doesn't wobble. It is narrow enough to fit in between the desk and the bed. It acts as a nightstand. However, it's a little taller than your regular or standard size nightstand, but I think this is very doable. And if you're having a problem <laughs> reaching out for things, especially if you want to bring water next to you, then you can just remove one of the baskets because it came only with two square backings so I kept the middle open and I used also these plastic baskets that you can get also at Target okay so I think I'm done I just want to give you a quick tour remember this area below the window was the desk so I moved it here against the wall because the configuration of her room is kind of similar with a small window in between her area and the area of her roommate because there are two in the room. And I just placed this foldable table that you can buy easily at Walmart or even Target or I think even low sell it and very inexpensively it's less than $20. Now that's my advice to you instead of buying bulky desk unless of course the dorm room that you're living in already supplies the desk then you don't have to buy anything but if you should buy something buy the foldable one that you can easily pick up and fold and move portability is key that's why I created this for her she requested this and I'm gonna be linking it up here on the upper right corner with an iCard and watch that video if you haven't already and this is an organizer that she can use for her journaling or paper crafting. Now I also placed another item here to decorate and even add some photos. It's not hanging on the wall but I just propped it up here in the corner. I got this at Target Bullseye Playground or Target Dollar Spot last year. It came with a string and wooden clothespins but I just added this metal butterfly clothespins and it is now sitting on top of this organizer that you can put under the desk this organizer or this wired organizer drawer is actually something that you can use in the bathroom under the bathroom sink or under the kitchen sink and if she doesn't want this on top of the table she can just put it under the table and this is where she can put her 
paper crafting needs because she has a passion for paper crafting and journaling and she can put it actually here under the table. Now I just want to keep the majority of the counter clear with only her necessities on top like this pencil holder, like her books. These are actually my daughter's items that I used to kind of stage this but you'll have an idea. This is my daughter's picture when she was a kid and of course some kind of decorative knickknacks. She can actually put a actual flower or plant there. And for dual functionality of an art piece as well as a message board, this white board, white out board that I got at Ross last year, uh, you can use this for messages and also adding some kind of artistic flair. And here is the target cube again and I place a couple of items on top. One is an alarm clock and one is a knickknack. Now I chose this plastic bin that I got on sale for five dollars. That's the medium size. There's a large and a small as well. I kept it white so that it will match any design. So if she gets tired of blue this white bins can still work. Now the reason why I didn't choose the fabric cubes that they normally advertise or display next to this cube it's because I want to be able to use this with other things because sometimes the fabric cubes are a little flimsy so this one she can put her toiletries, the items that she carries to the bathroom, the toothpaste and the shampoo and even though it's a little wet it will not damage this bin and it offers enough air circulation that molds will not grow. She can use this to put her other essentials, maybe small purses, some books or notebooks, and even some food or snack that she wants to keep in her room. Maybe at the bottom, that's what she can do. Now for lighting, I decided to use this floor torch lamp that has an attached small desk or task lamp. So the torch will provide a lighting for the room and it has adjustable settings so it can be two or three different settings so that it's not going to be too bright at night that it will bother the roommate and this one here has a goose neck or arm that's adjustable so that if she's tired of studying on her desk she wants to rest her back then she can actually just turn this around to the bed then she can continue studying or reading her books on the bed. Now for the bed, I think this is in the perfect location, perpendicular to the desk, and I tucked it against the wall so that I can prop up a headboard. Another tip for you, instead of buying a headboard, you can just buy the seat cushion for an outdoor settee or sofa and just prop it up there. You don't even need to hang it but if you need to I'm gonna be linking here in the upper corner again how I did this for my daughter. This is actually hers I just borrowed so that I can actually use it for staging this mock dorm room. First can hang here or backpack can stay at the bottom of the desk and you know can easily tuck in this one. This chair is from IKEA. I think we purchased this for like what 20 or 30 dollars long time ago and yeah so this is the room it's just fine as it is keep it clean keep it neat and get inspired to study more right so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please share it with anyone who has the same dilemma and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Click on the notification bell so that you will not miss any of my new uploads. Leave some comments down below and hope you all are having a great day.